This program is brought to you by The Big Secret Movie, now available on Amazon Prime and other video delivery services, and by Occupy Health, available on Voice America, and by TVE Course, featuring free online classes in electronics, video production, broadcast engineering, sports, and health, and by the Paul Porter YouTube channel, the Porter Museum of Broadcast Electronics. Here's the other trick to this business I shouldn't reveal. Give me a second. Ah, come here. Ground wire. A good place to ground. There we go. Oh, I'll scope. I'm tired of being asked that question. It wants an internet connection, and it's not going to get one. Who's got the scope probe? Okay, you want to know if a tone circuit is working or not? Uh, where's my... Ah, second best thing I ever did. Let me see which one is in and which one is out. Come on. There we go. Okay, there's the key to whether an amplifier is flat or not. Come on, trigger. Thank you. Okay, sine wave, you can't tell much difference on a tone circuit. You can tell a little bit. But you give it a square wave, and you can tell whether you've got equalization or not. I've got the jumper pulled, so hang on. I'm on the wrong side. Okay, that should be coming from the equalizer. I'm on the wrong channel. That must be, that may be pre, that's pre-equalizer. That's the problem. Let me get an output. All right, that's better. Okay, there's the output going to the power amp. And when you're in defeat, you got nice square. Let's go to lower frequency. <whistles> Drive a person crazy. Okay, amplifier's flat, the boxes are square. Quit asking. If you go into equalize, and you boost or cut treble, get it spiked or roll off and you go to base and you get that if the amp is flat you'll have that if the knobs are 12 o'clock you should have that if there's something wrong you won't have that you'll have a spike or a slow or other distortion the amp is not flat if that is the case sine waves you can't tell Square wave tells you everything. Somebody says, my tone circuit's not working. You put a square wave on it, you go, yes it is. Your ears are bad, but your tone circuit is working. You know, you argue with me all day long. I can prove, a deaf person could prove to you your tone circuit's working, because there it is. I listen to people go, wham, 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 about the units. Okay, let me put on the scope and look at it, and I'll tell you what I think. I put that, put the power amp on these big dummy loads. I can tell you without hearing a sound whether the amp is right or not. So this one's tone circuit works if you got the jumpers in place. Well, they probably pulled the jumpers out. People buy this stuff used at pawn shops or auctions and they just don't know. And of course, there's no, no literature on the, on the internet I can find for this thing. I'll tell you a funny one. A uh, customer bought a uh, Sherwood something or other, huge five channel power amp. Massive thing. Two power transformers must weigh 150 pounds. And his complaint was it was no sound. You plug it in, you turn it on, you don't see the lights flicker, so you know it's not pulling any, any inrush current. It's cold as a stone. You don't hear the protection relays close. It's just sitting there. There's no way to turn that power amp on without feeding it a, uh, it has a, back, a socket on the back that says uh, Digilink. This is the 80s, mind you. And it is a 
RCA plug that goes to a remote receiver output on the tuner that sends the turn on command to the power amp to turn it on. There is no way to turn that amp on without either the preamp, the tuner, or a little box a guy in Germany makes that pretends it's a remote with an on off button on it. You can't jump or anything because the logic circuits control the inrush relay. If you jump with the relays to plug it in, bang, blows the fuse. You got to have the inrush relay that clicks first, and then once the inrush current's in, it clicks that, that uh, surge resistor out. So I told the guy, I said, you can either get the tuner that goes with it, or this guy in Germany has got a little black box for 50 bucks, but you can't turn it on without it. Well, that's a, we learned a lot, Paul. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay.